Shadow Mirror, you you good, bruh? What uh, what's going on with you, dude? You floating? You floating? Whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, today we're picking up where we left off previously, outside of the Lost Boy Cavern, where we defeated the uh, the the Lich, the conjoined Liches. Um, today. Where is this? Yeah, okay, only one marker for that. Good, okay. Uh, today we're gonna go close this Oblivion Gate. That is literally right next to that place. Oh, awfully convenient. Alright, let's do it. Definitely did not need to do a lot of explore exploration in that. I don't know why I cannot speak in, in the slightest right now. I don't even need to cast anything for that. I can just, just do it. Just walk right into it. Don't need to worry about fighting anything either, and just freeze them. These fuckers can't even do anything against me anymore. I am too powerful, and when they are perhaps slightly too powerful, I just turn them into a friendly deer. I think that was, and then have their friend kill them. Okay. Perfect. Oh, resist that. Resist that again, goddamn. Jeez, can you just... Oh, what? Thought I had ten uses. Huh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I already used some of them before. Forgot to fill it up. It's alright. Does remind me, I do need to start filling these things up. This is kinda helpful. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. Goodness, at this rate it was probably easier to just kill him. Okay, thank you, game. My man's a struggling out here. Um, can I use another grater? No, only 800, okay. Maybe, uh, common? Perfect, alright. Yeah. I would still, I would still say that uh, going through Oblivion is the most difficult thing to do in this game, technically. Without us, you know, putting up the difficulty ever so slightly, which reminds me. Let me, I'm gonna do that again at the start of this video, actually. We'll go another four. Ooh. Man, stuff is getting. These things may take another extra spell in order to kill. Well, you're you're not. <laughs> in fact, you are actually going to die from from that thing. Except I don't care. I don't have enough patience for that thing to re redo itself to reroute itself. Why is every Zivile on this goddamn planet out today? All right. I also I need to start soul trapping. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, do myself some favors, huh? Could help, could help. Ooh, <laughs> Holy fuck, that scared me. Oh my god. That shit just sent me airborne. Alright, you I can kill. Uh, you actually I cannot kill with paralyzing. It's okay. It's only a few hits. Easy enough. Yeah, I gotta fill up all these soul gems if I'm gonna truly use the Wabba Jack. It's the only time I ever really use it is against stuff that, you know, resists a bunch of magic. The the, the Zivilees are the one thing that I don't think I'll ever fight against. <laughs> nope. Alright, come on. Kill him before he turns back. Ooh, okay. I, th I thought he was actually turning back there for a second. So that was awfully quick. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta throw up my shield again. Alright. Should be good for... Oh, really? No other soul gems? Already? God damn, okay. Didn't realize I went through that much already. Let's go, bud. One, two, three... Uh, three and a half. Alright. Well, do I... Yeah, let me start filling stuff up. I want to use up a lot of these soul gems so I can make some room, you know. <sighs> and then, what do I have as my eighth spell? What is that? Oh, detect life. Eh, if you want to detect life, I really don't need that, if we're going to be real. I think I'll probably, ultimately, I think I'm going to end up throwing the, the, uh, Zero Star over there once I do use up all these, uh,. Hey! Oh wait, don't kill me yet! Oh, come on, man! Help me out here! I think once I, um... 
I probably wouldn't be able to take it soul anyway, but whatever. I think, uh, yeah, well, w once I use up all those soul gems, I'm gonna throw on Zero Star for number eight, so I don't need to keep going back to it, you know? Alright, sit your ass down, dude. Yep, rolling down the hill. Ah, these guys actually have a good amount of health now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ooh, god. Oh my god. Let me put the shield up. Shield! Ooh. Oh my god. I could actually die here. Nope. Not today. Alright. If anything, I, I just need to, I need to heal up real quick. He got a couple hits off when I was struggling, so... When I was without my shield, so... Gave him an opportunity. The opportunity of a lifetime. And it did not, it was not enough. Alright, we're gonna wait up. Okay. We're, we're doing alright, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. Um, uh, this is lesser. Yeah, keep that fully charged. Look at us. Playing as a mage is so freaking fun. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's doodle our way on around, along the outside. Freeze you. Throw on a shield before I KO myself for no good reason, you know. Oh, Jesus! Hey, dude. Roll them down. It is. I. I can. I can actually feel the effect of the difficulty. The only thing that really matters, ultimately, though, for me, is just remembering to put up the shield. After that, it, nothing matters. As long as I don't get clocked mid mid recast, you know. Oh my god. Jeez, can you just switch already? My guy. Zillas are really the most annoying thing to fight, huh? Oh my god. My guy. My guy. Jesus. I think I just used my entire usage on that. Like, at what point is it easier to just fight the Zivile? Uh, probably at some point between... <laughs> oh, uh, fucking I. I am... Wow, I am really struggling with words to this. this is insanity. I don't think I've ever been this bad. Nah, that's probably not true. At least I'm attempting to say words. When, before, when I was playing as, you know, non-magic boy, like, fighting goblins and shit, oh my god. I mean, what can one really say when you're fighting goblins with a sword, though? There's not enough... There's not enough to say. Uh, oh, perfect. All right. Swinging away at the same enemy a thousand times over. It gets a little boring. I'm not gonna lie. It gets a little boring. Uh, okay. Storm after knock. That's fine. You, I can, I can fuck with you. Wish I had some more magic on me, but that's all right. I did. I did make sure to throw on. Yeah, I have Necromancer's ammo back on. Okay. Come on, dude. Where the fuck? Ooh. It's a good thing they don't turn into Zivilees. If they could turn into a Zivilee, that would be a real problem. Ooh. Oh, shit. I gotta throw my shield again. No, sir. Alright. Ooh. Nope. 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 Oh, that was just casted. Okay. Alright. Getting the weakness. One, two, all right. Amulet of Absorption. Spell Absorption 20%. Hmm, not too shabby. All right, heal up. Through, who's up here? How's it going, dude? Just you? Oh my god, hit the freaking guy. Ah, hit the guy. Jeez. Ah, if only I had Fusorda. Fusorda is the, is the last, the last requirement, I feel like. All right. One of these, maybe in a decade from now. Oh shit! Okay, I'm getting smacked. Maybe in a decade from now, I'll eventually, you know, buy a new PC that can truly handle Skyrim. Ooh, ooh who casted you? Are there two of you? Hmm. Oh 
shit. New shield. Alright. That. Weakness. Fire. More fire. More fire. Oh my god. This stuff is not recovering fast enough. Maybe I've made it too difficult on myself. Nah, I, I, I want to say I can handle it. Just gotta make sure he doesn't fuck me, hit me over to the ground. If I get knocked on the ground, then that 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 is genuinely a problem. Ooh, just going to skirt around, skirt around. We'll renew everything. Yeah, come chase me this way, people. Yeah, run back around. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being such a good sport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, if they were smart, right? You send one person either way. So I'm just gonna keep on skadoodling them. Get all my magic back, and then I can truly finish them off. Alright. I think maybe one more jump over. Now nah, we can take him here. Alright. Hey, dude. Uh, that was pathetic to watch. Mayor's Dagon is watching somewhere in just pure, pure disbelief in what he's witnessing. Fuck off, dude. Let me kill your master. Bitch. Alright. Ooh, a ring of sneak. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. <laughs> Oh, that thing scared the crap out of me. All right, to the Sigilum Sengius Sanguis. Something like that. I don't really know. You can I? I, I can't. I, I don't have any more soul gems. Why do I keep trying? Whatever. Now oh, shit. Yep. No more soul gems. I was very much aware of that and completely ignored that. Oh my god. Completely ignored the fact. Whatever. All right. Who? Hello. Are you gonna be a weak boy? No, you are not. All right. It's okay. Confidence. Just keep on casting. I got some. I got a replenish thing over there. We can, we can hit that up if we need. Let me heal. Let me heal. All right. Do that. Oh God. Alright, come on. Come on. Force, uh, force somebody else gets to me. Oh, he actually died from the block. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, is it just you? Just you or do you have a friend up here? Ah, oh, just him. Alright. Punished. Not exactly the best reward for all this, but whatever. We're really just out here working on our athletics but at this point, you know? Nothing else matters. Alright. Take that. Come back here, bud. Oh. Hopefully I can actually hit you. Oh god, I don't have my shield anymore. Uh, I should be okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. So was only slightly nervous. Oh shit, there's still another one? What? When the hell did you get here? Ah, uh, all right, fine. Let's actually throw up my shield, though. Ooh. Here you are. Oh, I, you were the one I originally started fighting, huh? No, you're you, you a weak boy, though. You a weak boy. And I think I hit I hit the wrong thing, apparently. That that should kill you. That should kill you. There we go. Alright. Take the staff. Sell that off. Alright. Goodness. Well, difficulty is actually making it slightly more difficult. Who would have thunk it? Ow. Yeah. Those guys don't fit a common soul? Really? Oh, well, not filling that one up. Alright. Whatever. Let's get out there. Cast our shield as soon as we get out. God, let me fall already, game. There we go. We're out. Who's here? Civil A, Spider. 
Okay, we'll take out the spider first. Oh my god, stop running. One, two, three, ooh, nope. Not dealing with you. We'll deal with you. Ah, stop going. Stop rolling so far. Jeez. Oh my goodness. I mean, the Wabajack, how long does the Wabajack last for? It's only like, I think I think it's only like 10 seconds. It's not, it's, it's not like forever. That's why sometimes when you get an ogre, I'm kind of like, all right, well, I guess I'll just try again. Worked out. So slightly more difficult than intended, but it worked out in the end. So all is well ends well, huh? Um, all right, there's an alien ruin that way. We'll probably explore that in the next video. Malata is... Ooh, actually, let me... Let me just make sure. See if Malata is the next location on this side. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Actually, you, I can just... Yeah. Oh, shit. Higher difficulty. Higher difficulty. Two hits now. All right. Now, throw up a shield just in case. Malada, there it is. Yeah, maybe in the next video we'll explore Malada. Or actually, uh, there's so much stuff out here. There's Malada, there's there's that quest, there's this quest, there's that quest. A lot, of, a lot of stuff's going on. I'll probably do that one next video. But anyway, today we gotta go do some reading. I have finally put together that reading list that I mentioned a while ago. I am not listening. Um... So now I know what books I need to read, what books I've already read, all that jazz, what books I need to collect. I know apparently there's a lot, a lot of like the skill books. You can only actually find them in like one or two locations. Um, so I'll probably eventually have to go on like a book scavenger hunt. But until we get to that point, I'm not going to worry about it. Problems for later days, problems for later days. But today... Today, 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 what are we what are we gonna read next? Oh, we got a whole bunch of scrolls and stuff. History of Lockpick. This is a three pound book. Why is this pound this book three freaking pounds? Who who writes who wants to carry around a book that's that heavy? Well, whatever. A history of lockpicking. The modern lock has a fascinating history in Cyrodiil. The need to restrict access to one's home has been a problem since homes were first built. The very first security system was a simple bar across the door. This has the obvious shortcoming of only being functional when the owner is at home. The first recorded, uh, no, wait, wouldn't that be the second? The very first, oh, the, okay. The first recorded instance of a lock is the ingenious arm breaker of Castle Anvil. The count of the day put five slide bars on the side of the door. A hole in the door just above them allowed him to reach in and manipulate any of these bars. Only one of the bars truly locked or unlocked the door. The other four released the clasp of a hammer that fell down on the person's arm. Oh god. Only by knowing which sliding bar was the true lock could one safely open the door. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> Smart, but kind of fucked. Um, for over a hundred years, the state... What, I mean, what if he just, like, one time is coming home late night, you know, he's a little drunk. He's, like, you know, accidentally his hand slips and he ends up pushing the wrong thing. It's probably going to be a... Could be a problem. Could be a problem. For over a hundred years, the state of the art in locks was defined by sliding bars and push traps. Then the famous dwarf Mzunchant invented the pin lock. The first example had three pins. The key was turned in the lock four times, each turn depending on a different pin being in position. Obviously, a pin could be, mo could be used more than once. It was 65 years before anyone devised a method to open a pin-based lock without the key and without damaging the lock. It wasn't that that the problem was so difficult. It was that nobody other than royalty could afford Mazunshin's locks. An enterprising blacksmith named Orithal decided to mass-produce a common form of the lock at a reasonable price. Suddenly, every shop had a lock. Now there was a reason to subvert the locks. It wasn't long before lockpicks and lockpicking appeared. Orthanol became quite wealthy, inventing more and more sophisticated locks. 
That's a boring ass book. Today, today's locks are sophisticated mechanisms with spring-loaded pins. Each metal pin must be pushed up by the key precisely to open the lock. Any imprecision in the key, any poorly made copy, or any clumsy attempt at lock picking releases the spring tension, causing the pin to clamp down upon or even break the key or lock pick. Locks are made more... <laughs> Take a shot every time you say the word lock. Locks are more secure by using multiple pins in the lock. Multiple pin locks are more delicate and difficult to make and more expensive, but provide a greater reliability against tampering. Multiple pin locks have the <laughs> further virtue of resetting all pins when any single pin is tampered with. A single mistake with the fifth pin of a five pin lock requires a thief to reset all five pins again until they reach the stage of being a not a an adept or or an, uh, an apprentice or any of those other stages then it slowly reduces most affordable locks are one pin or two pin locks the five pin locks is the highest achievement of the lock maker's craft hmm. and the greatest challenge to a would-be intruder Picking the modern lock is an art form. A lock pick is a thin metal bar with a small tooth on the end. The tooth is used to press the pin up into the lock mechanism. The thief uses skill and experience to manipulate each pin in turn to determine the exact tension necessary to set the spring-loaded pin at its catch point. With a subtle pressing and lofting of the pin, the master thief determines the exact motion required to set it. A novice thief breaks many picks while learning his trade. Only with time and practice will he get better at guessing the tension and timing necessary to set a pin. As a result, novice thieves tend to carry a great many lockpicks, while the masters only need to carry a few. Which is why I, well, I would carry infinite because they don't car they don't um, have any carry weight. Um, but I also have the skeleton key, so I only I keep one just in case if I ever need to break out of prison, because I think they would take the skeleton key from me at least for a little bit. Um, so I just have. And then, yeah, if you do get arrested, you can go to jail and you can sneak in one singular lockpick. So you can, you know, have enough of a chance to break out, which eventually I will, I will end up going through all that process. But anyway, yeah, that was a boring, boring, boring ass book that I am glad to get out of my inventory. Because for some reason, that book was three freaking pounds. Why? Are any of my other books three pounds? There's a couple two pounders in there. Yeah, that one book was three pounds. Who? Who made that decision? Very strange. Whatever. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. It was uh, a little, little, little bit of a dull video. I'm not going to lie. Just a quick little oblivion gate and a stupid ass book. But it is what it is. Sometimes you got to suffer. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, give it. You, Cause I don't wanna see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. And my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you. Cause I don't wanna see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. And my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you.